What shall we render unto the Lord for all that he has given us? Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's epistle to the Hebrews. Wisdom with us at Brethren, be obedient to those who preside over you and submit yourselves to them, for they watch over your souls with vigilance as those who will give account in order that they may do this with joy and not with grief, for that would be unprofitable for you. Pray for us, for we are persuaded that we have a good conscience in all things willing to conduct ourselves honorably. But I exhort you the more exceedingly to do this, that I may be restored to you the sooner. Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, even our Lord Jesus, perfect you in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to thee that we live. And let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us attend. At that time, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath, and there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity for 18 years. She was bent over and could not fully straighten herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her and said to her, Woman, you are freed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands upon her, and immediately she was straight, and she praised God. But the ruler of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, said to the people, There are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be healed, and not on the Sabbath. Then the Lord answered him, You hypocrite! Does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or donkey from the manger and lead it away to water it? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, who Satan had bound for 18 years, be loosened from his bond on the Sabbath day. As Jesus said this, all his adversaries were put to shame, and all the people rejoiced at all the glorious things that were done by him. 